Alright everyone, here we are with our session number two. And as I promised, we're going to build on some of the exercises that we did in the previous session. So today we're going to look at those squats again. Same as before, always go as low as you feel comfortable. It is not a competition to go lower um, or anything in that regard. We're going to go low, we're going to be comfortable, we're going to add some twists to it. So we're going to be twisting across the spine, adding a lot of shoulder and upper body movement into a squat. As we go further to that, we will go on into our planks. Uh, really aren't going to change them up. We're going to hold them a little longer, probably do two or three sessions of those. And then finally, we're going to finish off lying on the ground, working our glutes and our hamstrings with those bridges. We're going to do several different variations of those. And then we'll add some crunches at the end to hit our abs. So let's start off. I always like to start in mountain. It's our uh, position that we start off most frequently. We started it off and did it several times in the last video. So cues are feet flat on the ground, evenly distributed weight across the entirety of the foot. Knees are softly bent. We work our way up to our abs. They are slightly engaged. The glutes are slightly engaged. Our hips are parallel to the floor. In this video, I might tuck my shirt in. It might be easier for you to see the belt line. After that, we get down to our shoulders and just down, back, and relax. All we're doing here is paying attention to our body. Taking a few deep breaths on it, nice and easy. I am going to warm it up. We'll take a breath on it. We'll bring the hands on up. If I turn sideways, again, you can see that I'm not trying to do a back bend here. If we do a back bend, our belt line tilts forward. We are keeping the abs and glutes engaged and keeping everything nice and level. Hands are up here by the ears as high as we can get them. A few deep breaths as we reach on up nice and strong. Keep breath on in. On the exhale, we'll drop that right hand. Left hand staying on up. We're doing that slight side bend again. Good stretch across the entire left side of the body as we press this right hand on into the floor. Reach the left hand up into the sky. All right, good breath in brings both hands on up. The exhale drops the left hand, pressing it on into the floor and the ground. The right hand stays raised on up. Bend, push my hips out to the side. Get a big stretch all the way down the side of this body. Feels nice. Stretch, move around a little bit differently than normal. All right, good breath on in. Slight back bend. We're going to work systematically. Thumbs go back, arms go back. Lift the chin and chest. Then finally push forward the hips. Again, work through it as you breathe. Breathe in, lift everything on back. Still breathe, it does get harder, but I'm always in control. Good breath in. And on the exhale, we're gonna bring everything to forward fold. After every big back bend, I like to do a big forward fold to balance it all out. You'll feel all those muscles tightening across the back as we did that extra move, uh, that, that backwards motion. The forward bend. Allows all these muscles to round and relax. Woo, we let the neck relax, dangle on down, the shoulders relax, the arms relax, knees stay softly bent. Just spend some time here, it's just nice. Good breath in. All right, like I said, we're gonna start adding some twists to our motion, so let's go ahead and warm on up. As I twist here, I'm going to turn my left shoulder towards my right knee. Now it's in drastic, I can still keep these bent, but my left shoulder comes towards my right knee. It's a little different than just reaching towards the right foot. There's not a lot of rotation in that. I want you to twist on through. Bring the shoulder towards this knee. I want to be looking clearly past my right foot, almost to my right side of my body. Still let the head relax though, and the neck relax, but there is just a light twist in this motion. center and then we sweep 
to the opposite side, right shoulder towards the left knee. Getting that stretch across this side of my body a little bit more. Very good. Center on up just to even it on out. And a good breath in. Rolls us back up to standing. Let's do that with a wide stance. Here we are again, widen it on out. Still the same principles. Feet flat on the floor. We're not bowing in or buckling out. Knees softly bent. Belly on, glutes on, hips level to the ground. Shoulders down, back relaxed. Take a nice deep breath here. Pay attention to our body. Nothing has to be stiff here. We're just staying loose and we're paying attention. All right, good breath in. Bring the hands on up. Again, no back bend. Keeping the body pair pretty well straight. Arms up here by the ears. They are reaching back pretty hard. press it into the ground, turn it sideways here, and that slight side bend all across here is getting stretched, keeping this arm right here by the ear, pressing the right hand into the ground, left hand reaching strong over my body, big inhale brings me on up, and the exhale drops me on down, so I'm moving with my breath, you don't have to move exactly at the same time as me. Once you kind of get these uh, movements down and the general uh, the pattern on down, you just move on your own. It starts to make sense. If you exhale when you should inhale, that's not a big deal. It's just about moving fluidly, smoothly, and paying attention to it. Just the added in breath, the breath added to the movement makes you pay that much more attention. Whether it's an inhale or an exhale, not a big deal. All right, breath on in up to center. Looking for that back bend. Laying the legs out wide. We're going to work systematically. Hands go back. Lift the chin and chest. Then we push forward the belly and the hips. And you can keep the knees bent. Again, you're not keeping locked on out. Make sure you can still breathe through it. Every time I take a big breath in, it helps me get a little lower. Alright, on my exhale, I'm going to roll on forward and I'm do that forward bend again. Feels great after doing that back bend. Always practice at your level. Those back bends can get pretty intense. You do not have to kink or spasm your back. Please do not do that. Keep everything at the intensity level that you can handle. Here with that forward fold. You can do it. I know you can do it. We'll reach to the right and again not just simply reaching to the right I want you to bring that left shoulder towards that right knee add a little bit of rotation I want you looking all the way past that right leg where your right hand reaches on it's adding that light twist to the back feels good very mild stretch so nice and we switch sides Right shoulder towards the left knee. Center on up to even it on out. And a good breath on in. Brings us all the way on up. Okay, so that's it for our little warm-up, light stretching of the legs, body awareness. Now we're going to start adding in those squats. I'm going to go back to my narrow stance. And we're going to do our squats. Here we go. Nice, easy mountain pose. Always take a moment to get yourself assessed here. How does everything feel to begin with? Feel pretty good. It's going to be a good practice from here on. 
All right, big breath in, brings the hands on up. And the exhale, we're gonna go into a little squat. Does not have to be particularly low. Goals here, keep those hips on back, weight into the heels, and you can see my toes practically popping off the floor. I've got just that much. I don't wanna lose my balance, but I wanna push my feet back. If you find you're one that wants to roll like this, come up a little bit and keep adjusting until you find that balance point. Standing and holding on up, and pull them together, pull them up, 